How can people have faith in the Lord and ask him to save them if they've never heard about him? And how can they hear unless someone tells them? And how can anyone tell them without being sent by the Lord? The scriptures say it is a beautiful sight to see even the feet of someone coming to preach the good news. Hello, I'm Nella and I'm taking you today to the city of Pattaya in Thailand. Pattaya is famous for prostitution and in this city there are about 30,000 women working in prostitution. Nella Davidse, a woman from the Netherlands, has become very passionate about the lives of the prostitutes in Pattaya, Thailand. Together with Everdien Koekoek, she left her comfortable life in the Netherlands behind and moved to Thailand. In 1999, they founded the Tamar Center, just outside the center of Pattaya. Since then, the Tamar Center has grown extensively, and in 2009, the center opened a second location, right in the middle of the red light district of Pattaya. With this second location, the center wanted to be closer to the women and be a beacon of hope in their need. In these past years, the workload has grown and today many members of the staff of the Tama Center are ex-prostitutes who used to work in the bars themselves. Most of these women come from the poor villages in the northeast of Thailand. Many of them have been abused as a child. Many of them come from very poor families. And they are here in the city of Pattaya trying to find an answer to life. Many times they think finding a foreign husband Finding a Westerner will be the answer to life and will provide their family with money and finances that they need. But many of them are broken and disappointed and as soon they find out that in Pattaya they can't find the answer working in the bars and in prostitution. To make contact with the women working in the bars, the members of the Tama Center organize reaching out nights. Three times a week they go into the red light zones and into the bars to make contact with the women who work there. They offer them free English classes at the center. A few times a year the Tama Center also organizes parties for the women working in the bars. They receive a free meal, play games and are informed about the work of the center. If a woman decides to leave the prostitution, she will be offered a three-month training and a way to make a living by working in the center. She's given a place to live in one of the houses owned by the Tama Center. During this time, she will receive intensive counseling as a start for her healing process. Social pressure, poverty and lack of schooling are the main ingredients for the problems these women have to endure. The main focus of the center, therefore, is education and training. The Tama Center offers a variety of courses. Bakery, working in a studio to make jewelry and cards, hairdresser, hostess in a restaurant, computer training. After the three-month training, the women will receive counseling to look for a regular job outside the center. This is essential for reintegration into society and being part of a local community without losing self-respect and dignity. To get to the core of the problem, the Tama Center developed prevention programs. These programs are used locally but also internationally to get awareness across and inform the next generation about the possibility to make a different choice. The Tama Center is always looking for new developments and new creative ideas to help the women of Pattaya. To finance this project and the new developed ideas, the Tama Center completely depends on donations from companies, private individuals and supportive groups. With these gifts, the Tama Center already made a difference in the lives of many women working in the bars. To continue this mission, the Tama Center needs your prayer and your support. Greater things are yet to come for this city.